Appearing before the Kumasi Circuit Court on Wednesday, Prince Kofi Abua admitted that indeed he defiled his nine-year-old biological daughter. According to the victim, the father has had sex with her a number of times. The father, however, indicated that he only had sexual intercourse with her for three times. According to the prosecution, Prince Kofi Abua's wife traveled to their hometown, Bedu, in the Bono region for about a month and within the period, resorted to having sex with his daughter. Prince used to stay with a daughter at Afonkwanta, a suburb of Kumasi. Police say the victim reported to Prince's girlfriend on 26 October 2021 that he had defiled her. The girlfriend then reported it, which led to his arrest. In a related development, the Kumasi Circuit Court has sentenced 29-year-old Gabriel Kwesifuri to seven years in prison with hard labor for defiling a 13-year-old girl. The victim has been narrating her ordeal to City News. The Ashanti Regional Coordinator of the Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit, DOFSU, of the Ghana Police Service, Superintendent Susanna Derry, is worried about the rate at which more development and rape cases are being recorded. When the child is not up to 16 years and you have sexual intercourse with her, whether the child agreed or not, it doesn't matter. Once you've had sex with her, you've defiled her. Now, some of these things are going on. You know, these days, again, social media, children are adventurous. They see things and they want to find out. So they go into it. And some of them come pregnant. And the men deny. So when it is reported, somebody has impregnated my daughter and the person is denying. We will check the age and we will find that the person is even not up to 16 after all. So we use defilement. And it is a terrible thing. A criminologist who is also a lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Dr. Jones Opokuware, has been outlining some key factors that lead to rape and defilement cases which the society should pay attention to. Crimes like, you know, rape and defilement, okay, they are always, you know, signs and has these symptoms, okay, before they are committed. For instance, because they are always crimes that involve people that you know, there is always the tendency that people will not suspect that those crimes are going to be committed, okay, especially defilement. Okay, normally you have people who commit defilement against, you know, these kids, being very close to their family and the kids, and they come out as Mr. Nice Guys to these kids. So you normally see that because they are very nice to them, hey, come for toffees, come for biscuits. Parents and guardians normally, ordinarily will not suspect that these people are going to do something bad to their kids because of that kind of familiar and friendship relationship that normally exists between either the victims and the perpetrator or their families. He has also been suggesting ways such issues can be addressed. I think that because of the nature and the effects that crimes like defilement and rape have on the psyche and even on the physical and biological development of, of little girls, okay, and even women in general, we must stop treating that kind of crimes or those crimes as private and family crimes okay and now when they are occasioned it is important that we allow the law enforcement agencies to go through the entire process of seeking justice for the victims rape and defilement are among the topmost cases that are being reported here at the domestic violence and victim support unit dofsu of the ghana police service the stakeholders have been struggling to deal with this matter and as such more efforts should be put in net. For City News, I'm Edward Upon Marfo, Kumase.